driving to Boston right now and I'm so excited because I literally haven't been to Boston in like two months. I know I already just told you guys that or maybe I haven't. I don't know how I'm going to edit this video, but I'm really excited right now and I can't stop talking. Oh my God. The hair salon that I started going to in Boston is doing like at-home hair dye kits So I ordered one because my roots they probably don't look that bad on camera. Maybe they do I don't know my natural hair is very like lightish brown and I have like red undertones I think that's how you say it. I don't know the red is just showing up so much in the Sun And it just my hair is just different colors. I just like really want the dark brown back So that's what I'm going to get right now. I'm going to get dark hair glaze I have missed the drive to Boston so much. I could throw up right now. That's how excited I am. I just wanted to let you know that I'm having a great day right now. I just wanted to let you know that I'm having a great day right now. But yeah, so I'm going to drive on the highway now correctly and I'll talk to you when I'm in Boston. So just know that I'm having a fabulous time right now. It's such a ghost town out here. I'm so sad. I've never seen Boston this empty in my entire life. Like there's no one on the street. There's no one. All right. I just got my hair dye. This is uh, going to be interesting. Really, really don't know how this is going to go when I try to do this myself. I mean, I got all the tools. I got the little brush. I got the mixing bowl. I got gloves. Got my dye. It looks purple, so that's horrifying. But, um, yeah. First off, I don't know what this vlog is, so that's fun. Second off, don't know what I'm doing. Hi. <laughs> My tire just blew off and I'm stuck on the side of the road. I am shaking and I literally cannot talk. I'm, I'll try to show you guys what the fuck just happened without like dying, but um, yeah, I was just in my first accident, I guess. Not really an accident. Uh, there was a huge fucking rock in the middle of the highway and I didn't see it. Like I switched lanes so fast and all of a sudden there was a fucking like boulder in the middle of the road and I hit it and I didn't know if anything happened yet. And then three minutes later down the highway, my car is smoking and I see my tire roll off and yeah, I'm gonna try to show you this right now. I'm literally stuck on the side of the road. Like, hello, how fun. Like, that's awesome, awesome, phenomenal. And I don't know if you can see, but my tire is right there on the side of the road. Like, oh my, I don't even, I'm so freaked out right now. I've literally, I've never been, this has never happened. Pulling off the side of the highway to, uh, what? Pulling off the side of the highway was the scariest thing I literally have like ever done. Like my car was literally smoking, like this has never happened. Like, oh my fucking God. And now Rory's on his way to get me and I'm on my, I'm waiting for AAA to get me and... <sighs> I'm on the side of uh, 93 North right now. My friend's got a blown tire, but we're right in between exits and there should probably be someone with lights on behind us. Caitlin not to get a fucking Buick. This has nothing to do with me driving a Buick. Fucking Buick. Hell Everyone gives me shit for driving. Like, I don't understand what the problem is. It's a nice car. This is what the problem is. <laughs> it's on the back of a fucking tow truck. But that's because I hit a rock. I'll tell you right now, a fucking Cadillac tire wouldn't have popped on that thing. <laughs> of course. Taking my new dog to the beach. Oh my god. Caitlin pops a fucking tire. Now I'm following a tow truck with my hazards <laughs> on. My mom's Honda. Come on, this is fun. We're going on an adventure. Nothing else. I wanted else. to go on an adventure to the beach with we're my dog. Like we're gonna get there and they're gonna be like, yeah, come back next week, it'll be done. I called Mass State Police because we're in between two exits. We got trucks whizzing past us. Like, I thought we were gonna die. I, I wanted to come just to like throw the lights on behind us for a little bit of a warning. A uh, state cop comes up, you guys blow a tire? I was like, yeah. He goes, all right. And then just left. <laughs> That's literally like Boston police like summed up in a fucking I was like, all right, thanks, man. You guys okay? You blow a tire? Yeah, all right, see you later. <laughs> I was like, you mind just tossing on your lights behind us? My mom's Honda CRV isn't given enough of a warning <laughs> sign yet. I think it was. About to leave, he gets out of the tow truck on the side of the highway, comes up to my car. Hey man, just to let you know, this 
place ain't two miles away, like you said. It's 2.4. It's gonna be a long drive. I was like, we're paying you. Bring the car to the place. I literally don't know what I would have done if I was facing the situation alone because the guy would have been like, we can't go there and I would have just like panicked or something. I'm gonna throw myself in the ocean. Caitlin maliciously popped a tire. Oh, this is not where I wanted to be right now. I don't want to be in Somerville ever. PSA, don't buy a Buick. Buicks are so great. Look how good it looks on the back of this tow truck. That right literally here. has. An, I'm not explaining myself. My Buick is great, everyone. Comment down below if you like my Buick. Comment down below if you think Caitlyn's Buick looks good on the back of this tow truck. <laughs> Do I look good following a tow truck? Yes. <laughs> All right, over here we got Winter Hill Bank. We're on Winter Hill. Winter Hill Gang. This is the Irish and Italian gangs of Boston. Little throwback. I myself am in the Irish mob. We used to run Winter Hill, baby. Two of those Italianos came in. Y'all think you got the North End and stuff. Boston used to be an Irish city, baby. Caitlin's car gets fixed on Winter Hill. Cause my gang's here. Davenport. Like, you know what could what you have to say about is? Davenport? That's a neighborhood in Orlando. That's where we stayed. Osceola no. County Sheriff would have fucking told this thing themselves. They would have strapped it to the back of one of their explorers. What the hell is that? Get that on camera. <laughs> what the hell is that? That looks like a Disney World ride. I know. <laughs> We're in fucking Osceola County or whatever. We, we the must fuck. be in Davenport. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a like a funeral procession <laughs> driving with my hazards on. <laughs> <laughs> For my Buick! Oh great, now we Oh my god, no, go! Speed, no! There goes the Buick. Oh my god! You literally could have sped through that. Can I fucking help you, buddy? Oh my god, look at this guy singing, do you see that? Please roll the window down. <laughs> this is kind of romantic. I know, now I'm kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> This guy is setting the mood right now. All right, light. I gotta catch my Buick. Turn green. My baby! My dog is pissed. Stop! He was so excited to go to the beach. You know where we are now? We're in Charlestown, baby! Friggin' Charlestown! Should have called someone else to pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Irish land of Boston, baby. Charlestown. The Buick right now, to me, is like if you found a baby, like, on the side of the road. Like, you don't really want it, but of course you're gonna save the baby and take care of it. You're not just gonna leave it there. You guys just missed this tow truck. Literally, like, do a donut. Following behind it, and it just so swerved to the left and went, like, straight to the right. Literally, the back of it skin. My of car course, like, literally, like, could have flown off. And now he's gunning it. What is he Can doing? you catch up to him? Catch up to him. I'm going 50 miles an hour. Oh my god, I cried on the side of that road one year after Boston Calling. What? All right, the guy just got out of the car and told us that he's been going the wrong way the whole time. Not only did he get out of the car, he just stopped in the middle of the road, <laughs> got out of the truck, walked back to my window, just in the middle of the street, like just to tell me that he's been going the wrong way the whole time. I was like- Like for the past 20 minutes. I was like, all right, uh, go the right way. <laughs> We're literally nowhere near where we're supposed to be now. Like, we got another 20 minutes to go. Let's have a little fun today. All right, there she is. Our new beauty, Woo! the star of the show. <laughs> Rory didn't think that this was gonna be able to get fixed today. Look at us fucking now. We literally had to drive to another location, pick it up from another location, bring it back to their location just so they could do it today. Exactly, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> don't know what this video was. No idea. You know what? Take it or leave it. I just feel like there's not been any content yet of me and Rory like just fucking around together in months. So I know this vlog was like short, but I was like, you know what? Fuck it. But yeah, that's what happened to me like a week and a half ago. It was literally so scary. My new tire and then like adjusting part of like the bar under the car that like got impacted by the tire popping ended up costing $400. So that literally sucked. Definitely not what I wanted to spend my money on that day or at all ever. But seriously guys, I still can't get over the size of the freaking boulder that I hit. Like I literally was taking one of the 
worst exits in Boston that there is to take. And it's like such a bend. And literally in the middle of the bend, there was a goddamn boulder that must have fallen off a truck like right before or something. And like I hit it as I was switching to the other lane too. And it was like a two lane turn. I don't know. It was a disaster. And um, then me and Rory just ended up doing this nonsense the rest of the day. Another fun fact is literally in the middle of sitting in the auto body shop, I got my period and had no idea until it was far too late. And I ended up crying my eyes out the whole way home because I had bled through my favorite pair of pants. That day was just emotionally exhausting for me and stressful and scary. But like seriously, getting your period in an auto body shop, 10 out of 10 don't recommend. But yeah, maybe someone enjoyed this, maybe didn't. I don't really know. I just figured that I wouldn't just delete this footage and would turn it into a little vlog. Did I not put on bottom mascara today? <gasps> oh my god. I never forget to do that. Oh my god, please hold. Okay, better. You probably can't even tell the difference, but that's just something that just annoyed me. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go now. Don't pop your tire. It's scary. And if you do pop a tire, make sure you have like a boyfriend or someone close to you that will save you because um, don't recommend going throughout this without them. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys so much. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and peace out.